come clean. How many dusty laptops, old DVD players, and flip phones are you storing at home? Because no one knows what to do with their old electronics, a lot of this junk still ends up in our attics, or in the trash. In 2007, Americans shipped 2.6 million tons of e-waste to landfills, according to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. But experts say that throwing e-waste out with the trash comes with serious risks. They contain high quantities of toxic substances, including lead, mercury, arsenic. These are all things that if they get into groundwater or into the air, are known or suspected human carcinogens or can have a variety of other adverse impacts on human health and on the environment. And that's only the bad stuff. There's also plenty of good stuff in old electronics that could be recycled instead of filling up a garbage dump. The problem is that during the recession, many cities have kicked their e-waste recycling programs to the curb. To fill the void, some private companies and community organizations have stepped in. In New York City, throughout the month of January, a computer store called Texer collected e-waste in collaboration with the Lower East Side Ecology Center, an environmental nonprofit group. We basically have a history of uh, doing community-based uh, programs, really addressing areas that the city ha is not addressing with recycling. And uh, for example, last year we did um, 27 community events and we collected 232 tons all together for the year. The group sets up their collection tables on sidewalks and parks throughout the city. They hire a local recycler to load up trucks with all the items that people drop off. At the January event, the people who stopped by were thankful to have a safe place to dump their old stuff. One of my friends said, why don't you just take it down to the basement of your building? And I said, no. I said, there are chemicals and toxins in these, and you have to recycle them properly. Thankfully, a new state law takes effect in New York State this April to deal with these issues. It's not the newest e-waste law. Nearly half of U.S. states have adopted similar measures, but it's arguably the most progressive one in the country. New York's e-waste law will require electronics manufacturers to take back products they sell and recycle them safely, and quotas will ensure they're collecting an adequate amount. Experts like Kate Sinding hope the new law will create an incentive for manufacturers to design greener products. If manufacturers have to internalize the costs of managing their products at the point where they get thrown away, they'll think more about how they design them in the first instance so that they're cheaper to deal with. They're more recyclable, there are more reusable components. Jenny Shallant and Luke Groskin for On Earth magazine.